So today uh, we brought our partners together uh, from multiple nations led by the Vietnamese. <clears throat> we had the United States, Great Britain, Australia and Japan also in support. And we had an oil spill response disaster relief scenario. The cruise ship is on fire. The oil ship is obviously spilling oil. So that oil is going to contaminate the area. We've got our first responders uh, to begin containing the oil spill as well, our first responders to get the people to safety. The decontamination site, they took all the pollutants and oil off of the patients so they could actually be properly treated by the doctors in the medical tent. So from there, they were transferred right back to the medical tent uh, where they received initial triage and life-saving steps until they were stabilized and able to be put into an ambulance and brought to a higher echelon of care. So the purpose is to prepare when there's not an emergency. Uh, that way we're able to respond better and have interoperability during an emergency scenario. We get to know how each other work, uh, strengths and weaknesses so we can mutually support in a time of disaster. I was um, helping triage and treat the patients, the casualties that come off the ship. Uh, we were looking for inhalation problems because there was immersion involved in the water and with the oil, we get contaminants in your lungs, it's not, it's not a good thing. Everything ran on time, everything happened very fast um, and as soon as uh, the, the patients arrived, you know, every, everyone knew their role and just jumped in and we processed the patients very quickly. So this is something that the Vietnamese train for each year because they were so efficient with the, um, with the process. Today marks the culmination of a week of these exchanges. This is absolutely what Pacific Partnership is all about. Everyone coming together, one mutual goal, and, and in the end, shaking hands and taking away lessons learned on how we can uh, do things better.